the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev2 has nine onboard sensors crammed into a board smaller than a stick of gum. Gesture detection, color sensing, temperature, humidity, pressure, microphone, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, plus native Bluetooth low energy connectivity. And it can run AI, actual machine learning, right on the board using TinyML. But should you buy one? Let me show you exactly when this board is perfect and when you should avoid it. Now, the Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev2 is built on the Nordic N RF52840 microcontroller with a 32 bit ARM Cortex M4 processor running at 64 megahertz. That's four times faster than an Arduino Uno Rev3. It has one megabyte of flash memory and 256 kilobytes of SRAM, giving you plenty of room for complex programs and even machine learning models. The board operates at 3.3 volts and measures just 45 millimeters by 18 millimeters. Now let's talk pinout. You get 14 digital GPIO pins, eight analog input pins, and all the digital pins support PWM output. Not to mention that the eight analog pins can be used as digital pins as well. The analog pins connect to the 12-bit analog to digital converter, giving you much finer resolution than the Uno's 10-bit ADC. You've got I2C, SPI, and UART communication protocols available on this board. All the pins can be configured as hardware interrupts. Now, quick note, if you're trying to figure out which Arduino board is right for your project, I have created a complete Arduino buying guide that lets you compare boards side by side and know exactly what questions to ask. But you can grab it for free at the link in the description or scan this QR code right here. Now, you may know this already, but Arduino has an entire family of nano boards. What is really neat is that every Arduino nano board has the same pin numbers and the same form factor. So if I wrote an Arduino program that used digital pin six on my nano 33 BLE sense, I could load that same program on the original Arduino nano board. And I can be confident that pin six on the original Nano will act in the same way. So it might follow that I could use a Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 as a replacement for an original Nano in an existing project I might have. I just pull out the old one and drop in the new one. This is known as a drop in replacement. However, there's a huge caveat here because the Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 operates at 3.3 volts and the original Nano and some of the other Arduino Nano boards run at 5 volts. Plus, the current limits on the pins are different. So even though the pinout is the same for all the Nano boards, it's worth noting some details about the Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 pinout specifically. So as opposed to other Arduino Nano boards, pins A4 and A5 have an internal pull-up resistor and they default to being used as an I2C bus. So they don't recommend using pins A4 and A5 as analog inputs. I also mentioned that you can use all of the analog pins as GPIO. This means you can just use them like you would a digital pin. So if you wanted to use pin A0 as a digital pin, you just refer to it as D14 in the code. Now on other nano board pinouts, they actually show the digital pin assignment for those analog pins. I'm not sure why they left it off in this pinout diagram. If you know, please mention it in the comments. I'm curious why they left that off. Anyway, all of these digital pins can use PWM, like I mentioned before. However, they recommend not using A4 and A5 for PWM and D11 and D12 for because they have the I2C and SPI buses attached. Now let's talk about these nine sensors because this is what makes the BLE Sense Rev2 special. There's the APDS9960, which handles gesture detection, proximity sensing, and RGB color detection. You can detect hand gestures up to four inches away or identify colors in front of the sensor. The HS3003 measures relative humidity and temperature with plus or minus 0.2 Celsius accuracy. 
The LPS 22HB is a barometric pressure sensor, useful for altitude detection or weather monitoring. The MP34DT06JTR is a digital omnidirectional microphone for audio projects or voice activation. The BMI270 and the BMM150 give you a complete 9-axis inertial measurement unit, a 3-axis accelerometer, 3-axis gyroscope, and 3-axis magnetometer for motion tracking, orientation sensing, or navigation projects. All of these sensors communicate over I2C, and they're already wired up. They're right there on the board, ready to use out of the box. With all these fancy sensors, you might be wondering how much current this board sucks down and what that means in terms of power consumption. Well, here's the power tree from the data sheet. The board can use up to a max of one amp. The processor, sensors, and a crypto chip use about 50 milliamps in total at max. That leaves you 950 milliamps for the user application. Now it's worth noting that most of the sensors can be turned off in the code by writing the pin enable sensors 3 volt 3 pin low. But here's where it gets really interesting. Edge AI and Tiny ML. The Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 can run TensorFlow light models directly on the board. That means you can train a neural network, deploy it to this tiny board, and run real-time inference using all those different sensors. Do you want to build a gesture recognition system, a voice-activated device, or an environmental monitor that uses AI to predict trends? You can do it all on this board without needing a connection to the cloud. You can train models using Edge Impulse or TensorFlow Lite and then deploy them right here. Now, before you accidentally fry this board like an egg, let's cover some limits. Each of the GPIO pins that we were talking about before can handle 15 milliamps of current. That's enough to light up an LED, but not too much more. The board operates at 3.3 volts, not 5 volts like the Arduino Uno Rev3. And this is critical because connecting 5 volt peripherals directly to your board could potentially damage it. There are quite a few ways to power the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2. Probably the most straightforward way is just to use a micro USB connection on the board. This delivers a regulated 5 volts that gets stepped down to 3.3 volts to power the microcontroller, the board sensors, and any peripherals you might have connected as well as supply the 3.3 volt pin on the board. In addition to the micro USB connection, you can also supply between 5 and 21 volts via the VIN pin to power the board. Additionally, on the back of the board, there is a 3.3 volt solder jumper. If you cut that solder jumper, it allows you to power from a battery or from an external 3.3 volt power source connecting the battery's ground to the ground pin and the battery's positive terminal to the 3.3 volt pin. Now, according to the data sheet, you can also power this board via the V USB pin, and that would be by supplying between 5 to 21 volts. In order for that to work, however, you would have to solder the V USB solder jumpers on the back of the board. There's also a pair on the front of the board. Now, a little bit more about this V USB pin. You'll notice on the board it's marked as VUSB, but when you look at a pinout diagram, it's actually shown as the 5 volt pin. Now normally, there is no voltage at this pin. If you want 5 volts to be available at that 5 volt pin, two conditions must be met. You have to close the solder bridge on those two pads marked as VUSB, and you also have to power the Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 through the USB port. That's the only time you're gonna get a regulated five volts out of that pin. So if you were to power through the VN pin, you're not gonna get regulated five volts, even if you have that solder bridge closed. Now the reason this five volt pin is not normally connected is a precaution in the situation where you drop a Nano 33 board into an existing project that had used the original Nano board, which had an operating voltage of five volts and not 3.3 volts. So why should you buy the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2? Well, if you're building a project that needs sensor fusion, combining data from multiple sensors like motion, orientation, and environmental conditions, this board gives you everything you need in one tiny package. If you need Bluetooth connectivity to send data to your phone or computer wirelessly, 
it's built right in. Or maybe you plan on working with machine learning and edge AI. This is one of the best Arduino boards for running TensorFlow light models. You can do gesture recognition, voice commands, predictive maintenance, or any other edge AI application directly on this board. If your project needs a compact form factor at less than two inches long, you can fit this in incredibly small enclosures. So maybe you're working on gesture control devices, wearable fitness trackers that have some type of AI powered activity recognition, environmental monitoring stations that can predict air quality changes, Bluetooth data loggers, or voice activated projects. What's nice about using the AI features is that Arduino has given you some example projects that you can work off of, and they've also partnered with Edge Impulse, so actually building a model is not nearly as intimidating as it used to be. But when should you not buy the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2? Well, if your project requires five volt logic levels for compatibility with older shields or sensors, then this board may not be the best fit it's 3.3 volt logic and you'd need level shifters. If you need lots of GPIO pins for controlling many components simultaneously, the Nano's pin count, although admirable, might not be enough. If your project requires Wi-Fi connectivity instead of Bluetooth, you may want to check out the Nano 33 IoT or another Wi-Fi enabled board instead. If you are a complete beginner and you are just learning the basics of Arduino and you want maximum tutorial availability, then the Arduino Uno R3 may be a much better option for you because it has so many beginner focused examples online. I'm not saying that the Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev2 documentation and library support is bad. It's not. It's good. It's just you're not going to find as much about it as you are, say, the Arduino Uno Rev3. Finally, if you don't need those nine onboard sensors and AI capabilities, you're basically going to be paying for hardware that you're not going to use, then a simpler board would just be more cost effective. Now, a quick note here, for technicality's sake, what we've been talking about here is the Rev2 version of the Nano 33 BLE Sense, which replaced the original. So what's the difference between the Rev2 compared to its predecessor? And why did they even make a Rev2? Well, according to Arduino, they came up with the Rev2 based on user feedback. I would say that most of the changes are pretty mild and it's more of a refinement of the design. So what did they change? Well, instead of having a single nine axis inertial measurement unit, they now actually have two inertial measurement units on the board. One is a six axis and one is a three axis. So you still have nine axes, but it's split out between two different IMUs. What's the advantage of that? I really don't know. They also incorporated some new pads and test points, and they introduced that V USB soldering jumper on the top side. So if you recall before, when you wanted to enable that five volt pin, you had to solder the jumper on the bottom. Well, you can solder the one on the bottom or the top. The reason they added the one to the top is because you may have noticed on the outside of the board, the pins are castellated. That means that they've got that semicircle on the outside. Well, what that allows you to do is kind of think of the nano board as a module that could be added to another circuit board or proto board and just directly soldered right to that other board without the pins on there. And if you were to do that, having the VUSB jumper on the top is a heck of a lot more convenient. The final thing they did was transition the power supply to the MP2322, which apparently increased the performance. Overall, the changes feel more like an iteration or a refinement of the board. And I would say, generally speaking, they're both really doing the same thing as before. Now, with so many sensors and features packed into this board, you might be wondering how much it costs. Well, it is on the higher end of the Nano family, and you can expect to pay between $38 and $39 USD, depending on whether you buy the one with the headers pre-soldered on or not. So this Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Rev 2 packs serious sensing capability, wireless connectivity through BLE, and on-device AI into an incredibly small package. For projects that need multiple sensors, Bluetooth and machine learning, 
It's pretty hard to beat. Now, if you need help choosing the right Arduino board for your project, make sure to download the Arduino buying guide in the description. It's gonna walk you through exactly what you need to consider. You can also get it at this QR code right here. Now, if you're comparing Arduino boards, make sure to check out this video on the Arduino Uno Rev4 right here. Depending on what you're doing, it might be a better fit. This is the video right here.